Hello, Anchor Bay students and families. My name is Mr. Green. I'm the PLTW teacher at McConnell Elementary, Lottie Schmidt Elementary, and Sugarbush Elementary. I also teach technology at those three buildings. I was sitting around this afternoon playing with an egg, and when I dropped it on the plate, I noticed something happened to it. It cracked in half. So I was thinking, how can I make that egg bounce instead of cracking? Well, I researched a little bit online and I'm going to show you how. If you have these items at home, the first thing you're going to need is white distilled vinegar, an egg, of course, and a glass that you can see through. Take the egg, place it inside the glass, submerge the egg totally in vinegar until it's completely covered, and then you have to wait 24 to 48 hours for the next step. It's been 48 hours, and I've been observing my egg over the last two days, and I noticed that there's a lot of bubbles collecting on it for some reason. The next stage I'm looking for is when the egg becomes translucent. Let me teach you a few key science words today. The first one we're going to talk about is the word opaque. Opaque means that no light passes through the object. Here I have a piece of tinfoil and a flashlight, and you'll notice when I shine the light behind the tinfoil, no light passes through the foil. The next word we're going to look at is the word transparent. Transparent means all light passes through easily. Here I have a piece of saran wrap, and you notice when I shine the light through it, it kind of blinds my videographer, Brooke. She's having a hard time seeing because the light easily passes through it. And that again, saran wrap is transparent. The key word in this experiment is translucent. Translucent means a little bit of light shines through. Here I have parchment paper that you might find in your kitchen drawer when you're baking cookies so things don't stick to it. But you'll notice when I shine the flashlight through it, a little bit of light passes through, but not totally like it did when we shined through the saran wrap that was transparent. So again, translucent, a little bit of light shines through. So that's what we're looking for in this egg, is when the eggshell starts to become translucent, we're going to head over to the next step, which I'll meet you over at the kitchen sink. Welcome back, friends. I noticed that my egg has become translucent. So the next step, like I said before, is going to take, turn on the water gently, place the egg underneath, and just rub the eggshell with your fingers. You'll notice that the shell itself starts to come off the egg. You might want to come a little closer, bro. That way they can see what it looks like when the eggshell starts to come off the egg. You can kind of see the membrane that's underneath the shell. Well, I've successfully removed about 98% of the eggshell. You notice that the bottom of my egg still has a little bit of shell left on. I believe that's because the egg wasn't totally submersed at that point underneath the vinegar long enough. But you can see that the color has changed between what we started with and now the current egg. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop this egg about one to two inches off the plate and just see what happens. Pretty cool, huh? So next time you're playing with your food and you wonder how you can make an egg bounce, go ahead and try this out at home. Now that you've completed the experiment at home, feel free to visit mrgreen5.weebly.com to find out why this experiment works. Also, take some pictures, shoot a few videos, and send them to me at tgreen at abs.msd.net. I may include them on my webpage. Stay safe. Hope to see you soon.